Today we're gonna to check out another winner from that Wig Pro line. This is Ellen, I have it in two colors to show you today. The featured wig styles were sent to me by Wig Pro in cooperation with Wig Studio One. You can find the full line of Wig Pro products at Wig Studio One. Be sure to look below this video. I'll attach a link directly to this style and the other Wig Pro styles so that you can check out the beautiful styles, colors, and pricing. If you have any questions for us, please reach out to support at wigstudio1.com. So today we're gonna check out Ellen in two different colors. Ellen is a short, shag style cut, timeless, classic, and cute. So today let's check out two colors. We're gonna start with 221001R8. I am loving this blonde because you know I'm a blonde lover, so I'm so happy they sent me one to review, and I think this is my favorite so far. Um, it is a platinum blend on a medium brown root. So you're gonna see a beautiful, almost neutral platinum there. There's really no hint of yellow or brassiness at all. Some platinums can get over the top like that. Um, this particular one is done very, very well. And then it's on a medium chestnut brown root. And I don't even mind that the root stands in great contrast to the main body of the color uh, on a shag style like this because there's really no stark line of demarcation uh, against this platinum blonde with all this shaggy texture just to kind of break it up a bit visually. Ellen is just super cute, super stylish what I like to call a plug and chug wig style, meaning all you have to do is shake it out, put it on, gosh, even if you don't even mess with it, <laughs> or if you do, it's just gonna look perfect no matter what. And if you go out in the weather and the wind is whipping and blowing, it's just gonna look better and better. That's what I love about shag styles. This product reminds me a lot of something by Noriko uh, or even Ellen Villa, but I gotta tell you, this one has much better value. Um, wait until you see these cap features on Ellen. It features a lace front, a mono crown, and then is open top, sides, and back. Those same features with Ellen Villa would probably be upwards of $300. This particular style, this Ellen by Wig Pro, which is one of their new releases, by the way, is around $195 and you get the standard industry discount of 30%, which brings it down to around $136. I'm blown away by the value. Now I will say that um, these prices are subject to change. Everything seems to be going up in these days of inflation and supply chain issues. So let's take a look at the dimensions for Ellen so that you, if you know your own dimensions, you'll be able to tell how this might look on you. First of all, a beautiful, convenient, and out of the way bang area at about three and a half inches. It can be swept off in any direction. In the back, you're looking at a crown of about five to six inches. Again, all those shaggy layers falling down over the back of this, and then it's got a three inch nape. So Ellen features a temple to temple extended lace front Mono crown, Velcro adjusters, extended nape. Need I say more? Let's get up close on the lace. I think that is a little finer than the Rene of Paris lace fronts for sure. Um, it molds to the head nicely and creates a nice natural hairline from the front. That gives you lots of options, right? Okay, and then you have that monofilament crown. It's only 2.6 ounces, and it does. It feels super light on. It feels just like air. It's super comfortable. I will say that the Wing Pro styles that I have reviewed so far and have, had, have explored are very much average. For my petite average circumference at 21.25 inches, it fits me wonderful with just a minor adjustment. That tells me that it's true average. When so many of the bigger brands out there are going to a more larger cap, I really enjoy the fact that these are average friendly. I can make a very nice secure adjustment for petite average circumference, and I feel like it may be able to stretch up to large, in, or 
to average large in certain cases. Now, if you have a large circumference, now that's up for debate because I really do not have a way to measure a large circumference. The fiber, this is not a heat friendly fiber. You won't find the heat friendly fiber on the synthetic wig pro line, uh, fully synthetic. And uh, they're made from the Kenkalon fibers, which is a very nice fine type synthetic. It's very feathery in its texture and it feels very soft. And I love the way it moves especially on some of these lighter density styles, you just get that wispy look out of these fibers. In terms of permatease, you're gonna find some permatease. Not as much permatease as you would find on a Noriko. So if you're a Reese fan or a Sky fan by Noriko, you, for the same price, you're gonna be able to get a lace front, monofilament crown, and less permatease. So in this box, I have the other Ellen by Wig Pro in a different color. We're gonna take a look at 1416R8. Same beautiful box, very sturdy. That's a good indication of the quality, I think, just because they're not willing to cut corners on things. So in the box lies Ellen. And let me get it away from the, uh, the hairpins there. Okay, turned inside out. I don't see a net on this one. Okay. So now that it's inside out, let's just go ahead and take a peek at this cap real quick. So you've got the temple to temple lace front. It's beautifully contoured. Nice fine knots giving you a natural look. And then also you have a pretty good size monofilament crown, which I, I suspect will give us a nice natural look there at the crown. And then you've got some open wefts on the top covered by a little bit of rose lace, some darting lots of wefts here, a substantial velvet lined ear tab. Those sturdy stays, I love that, especially in the shorter styles where you may have a little bit of coverage issue at the temple and be in front of the ear. These give me amazing coverage and they stay. An extended open nape and Velcro style adjusters. That cap just feels very high quality to me. Okay, pro tag. All right, let's take a look. You know me. Actually, I'm gonna remove this tag first. These are the most annoying things. I understand them. I just like to remove them before I apply a style. Um, I had a, a wig tag come up and scratch my cornea. Um, as I was flipping the hair around, the wig tag came up and hit me in the eye. So I'm very careful to remove those now. All right, let's go ahead and shake it out. Wow, that color. Okay, so this 1416, what it looks to me is like there is a warm, light golden brown with some uh, very warm, almost what I like to say burnt honey sort of a medium burnt honey on a warm golden brown base. It's beautiful. And you've got the root. I would say you would love this color if you are if you like light brown, if you like a dark blonde, but it has to be warm. This is a warm color. So you have to be able to wear warm colors in order to really appreciate this 1416 R8. You could just part this in any direction. <laughs> it's just so casual and cute. Now it's been in the box, so I mean, it's gonna have to settle just a bit, but let's see. I think it falls into place very quickly. Cute, okay. Just taking uh, the last two fingers here and picking and fluffing through the permatease on top so that it wakes up those fiber. Okay, so I think I've went over everything about this style. So now it's time, we'll do a side-by-side -side of these two colors, just so that you can see them both at the same time. 
and then um, I am going to take you through some styling for Ellen. So hopefully you learned something from the styling segment here. Let's try with glasses. Beautiful, which I would expect because there's very little permatease at the ear tab area. So it's nice and secure. So hang out with me a little bit here while I style Ellen. Be sure to check it out at Wig Studio One with the links below this video. We'll see you soon on Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One.